Alrighty, folks, welcome back to Elite Dangerous once again. Hope you're doing well. And this time, well, I'm not so new at the game this time. I mean, despite last time, I was actually new and I had a friend that helped me. So I'm going to continue because that got quite a lot of views, gotta say. And I received a lot of helpful comments, you know. Um, very helpful tips. Unfortunately, I was actually playing the game more than I was back then, and I've actually learned a lot. So yeah, just by playing the game I found some things out and I was watching a bit of uh, uh, Joe Wheeler. I plays a bit of Elite Dangerous, Start to Odyssey, that type of thing. I learned a few things from there, but I do appreciate those comments that, uh, you know, commented and, you know, welcome to me to the galaxy. <laughs> uh, so interesting. So yeah. But I, well, that just tells me that, well, the Elite Dangerous community is basically nice. And I appreciate that. Anyways, so I know a lot already. I've been doing a lot of uh, pilot assassination missions, uh, uh, mass scare missions, and cargo runs. I've been doing that. I don't know how to mine. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just uh, look in the... Uh, Services right here. I'm at the Kohol stations where new players start at. Okay, so you can see I've got 2,100,000 credits. And just to take a look at my ship, I actually bought some things, some modules. Yeah, not much to look at, because like, I put some modules in and then like, well, there wasn't anyone anything better, because you know, I think you need to go to a better station or level up, you know. I also need to check my rank. What's my rank at? I don't know what my rank is. <laughs> oh no, I, I don't even know what it is. Anyways, uh, I wanted to do a few things. So I found a mission. It's called Exploring the Galaxy, which I always wanted to do, but I wanted to save it for a video. And I wanted to purchase a new ship. So I'm gonna try. Wait, delivery? Nope. No, 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 no. Yeah. What's this? I think it's... I think I meant to go to the shipyard. Oh, no, that's... uh. It's this thing. Worked out. Styles and stuff. Oh, advanced maintenance? Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just general stuff. It's easy to get. Uh, shipyard. Okay. So what can I get here? Cost 44,800. Well, these are kind of cheap. I can get this one for 142,000. This is the Viper Mark III. Uh, I wouldn't mind this one. I could transfer a ship. Uh, store current ship. Well, I could exchange it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna exchange it. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, looking good already. Let's uh, let's have a look. Ah, oh, nice, lovely. I don't know what the is there an option to look outside your ship. You know, any options like that? I guess there isn't. I mean, I think another. There's one like that, but I don't even know which planet it is. Ah, so yeah, I'm gonna just going to uh, check the. Uh, Outfitting, because I think with a bigger ship, you can actually get more uh, more things attached to it. I don't know. I think I'll do the mining a bit later in the series right now. Oh, by the way, for those watching, if you want to tune into the series of me playing Let's Dangerous, of uh, uh, playing Elite Dangerous, I meant. <laughs> wow, how did I miss that one? Up? Yeah, uh, subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, just be aware I do add a lot of jump cuts, you know, just showing out the video. 
Uh, mine's, well, I usually range into a max of 30 minutes. Okay, well, I'm just going to get the 1F. Oh, I'm just going to go for something else. So in case we ever get attacked by AI or any players. Oh, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I've learned that the... Uh, Oh, you've made changes to the module that needs to be a fire group. Oh, I know how to fix that. Oh, some weird noises. Yeah, I heard that the uh, players are... Uh, well, they can insta-kill, you know, players. I heard that, you know, experienced players sit around an area where usually new players go to. And they just wait for them and just destroy them easily. I don't know. I hope I don't run into anything like that. So I'll be careful. Uh, we can get the cargo racks, uh, flight assist. I don't think I need flight assist. I mean, I'll, I could use the computer that lands the ship automatically. That's what I would like. Uh, what can I get here? Module type limit exceeded. God damn it. I think I've already got it. Yeah, we'll go for the cargo racks. Uh, 2 e. Okay, we have a super cruise assist. Um, I, I don't think I need the super cruise assist. Uh, someone in the comments uh, did tell me about the super cruise. It was a big paragraph, but uh, like I don't need to use the super cruise assist, you know. So yeah, I can get to places easily without you know using any assist. It's basically you're use you're using the Fraser drive, but you're not going through like a long jump. You just it's just super cruise towards a destination. So yeah, I also get the cargo rack, so it makes it cap 6 now, advanced docking computer, I'll keep that one, uh, plenty approach suit, I'll keep that, so we have a cap of 6 right now, that's not bad, okay, so we can take down a pirate, prisoner XD, or take down a one that's, gives us more credits, Keith Sanderson. We can mask a raven cause says faction pirates. That's gonna take a while because that's nine pirates. And some of the pirates actually just jump away. Okay, here we go. So we have four missions. So let's uh, auto launch. And fly with this new ship I've just purchased. Oh, I can't wait. Just let it do its thing. Sometimes I just do it manually, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to deploy the landing gear or land and stuff. Alrighty, so I had to make a jump cut there. Sorry about that. There was some noise I had to uh, deal with, but now it's gone. So yeah, we're good to go now. Oh yeah, the sounds of this ship—it's amazing. And look at the speed it has. It almost got up to like 400. I don't know if that's like meters per second. I think it is. I think it's meters per second. If anyone could tell me in the comments, I would appreciate it. What that means. Anyways, I'm just going to idle here. And I got this message. Uh, from the senior executive Roberts. It says, it's basically telling me that um if I leave the uh if I leave the hang on if I dock outside outside of the Federation District I I no longer have access to the Federation District. That's what it basically means. So the Federation District is basically like the new area for like new players. So I understand that. So yeah. I'll be officially an experienced player. Okay, so I just gotta check my... Okay, so I need to travel... Okay, well that's the place I need to go for, to explore the galaxy. Uh, but I need to head towards... 
Wait, why does it say I need to go there? It makes no sense. Anyways, I need to jump here. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, here we go. Should be able to do some fuel scooping. Here we go. I'm just gonna make sure I don't overheat because once it goes over 80%, oh, it starts to me, you know. Once it goes over 100%, well, I start taking damage. Yep. Time to get away from the sun, from the star. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one. If anyone wants to notice the speed I'm traveling at right now, well, that's like over thousands of thousands. The times of the speed of light. <laughs> I'm not sure how exactly fast it's saying because of the limited numbers it had, but it, the, the systems go crazy when you're in that warp drive. Okay. I'm gonna head towards the, the station here. Here we go. That's the asteroid one. Yes, yeah, so I'm hitting like 10 times the speed of one. I think the C means that. So, yeah. <laughs> speed of one is like uh, 30. No, 30,000 kilometers a second. I think that's what it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, need to slow down. Oh god. This keeps happening. No, I don't want to do the loop of shame. God damn it. Oh, I got this. I got this. Perfect. Come on, give me the option. Give me the option. Nope. Whew. Just in time. Just request the docking. And also, I've worked out uh, you can use the arrow keys to switch these things around for uh, shields, systems, uh, engines, and weapons for more priority. And for auto dock, I don't think so. I got this. Okay, so pad twelve. Automated docking initiated. I even see it. Oh, it's in here. Okay. Yeah, this is the type of star base or space station. Docking successful. Grind crew dispatched. Station services are at your disposal. Alrighty. So yeah, this is something I thought it'd be nice to build in space engineers. Something like this. 
you know. Anyways, let's uh, deliver these uh, items. Hey, you got 33,000 credits. It's really easy. I mean, you may have to watch out for parts that might want to, you know, raid you. Now, I worked out what the interdictions are. So, when you're in the uh, Super Cruise, uh, well, players away, I can use this thing called the interdiction. I, I know what, what it is, but it causes you to jump out of it or go out of a Super Cruise. And then you're stuck ish. But then you, you, you get attacked, basically. <laughs> I'm just going to refuel, and then, so I need to jump, well I don't need to jump, I'm basically, I'm basically there, oh no, it says I need to head to, alrighty, I think the, one well, of the pirates might be there, we'll see. Oh god, I think I... Oh, I think I was close to hitting an asteroid then. Now, I don't know if these are all... If these little green triangles mean it's that player. I don't know if that's a thing. It might be. In the yellows, and might be just AI. Let's try to do a scan. Oh no, that's the station. Okay. Oh, you gotta be joking. I just got math locked. Ah. Uh. Let's just speed it up. Am I good now? Nope. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, I just got a mission. So it was here for some reason. Oh, hang on. So A4. Oh, I think that's. Yeah, I see what's going on here. There's like two missions in the one spot, so it was a bit confusing. Oh god. Yep, this is what I was talking about like five minutes ago. No! Oh god, the pirates are going to be scaring me. Scaring. Where is it? It's going to try and scan. Where is it? Come here, ye! Woo! That was close. I don't know if this pirate wants me or not. I don't know what he's trying to do. Oh, he's the mission target. Okay. Wait, what? Oh god. Uh Okay, that's not good. Um Oh second. 
Oh. I didn't have anything for my shields. God damn it. Okay, I need to I need to set these keys up because I didn't No. Ah. Okay. Yeah, here we go. That's what I needed. Why is the oxygen Do we not have a helmet? I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I have power, but I might look so on... Uh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, here we go. Nice. I have no idea. Is it because of the power? I, I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why I have low oxygen. That's concerning though, because I'm ready to go back to a station. Come here, ye. I need to do this quickly. Because I ran out of power? I, 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 I don't know. Well, there it goes. Okay, I need to get to a station real fast. Let's get to the Arceus port. Oh, atmosphere restored. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. I have no idea what that was about. Okay, so I just need to get to the mission target. Oh, it's recharging. I ran out of power for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I think just going to have to set the shields to the max priority, I think. That's new. I never encountered that problem. Okay, so Alex told me that uh, leaving it to, at 7 seconds is like the best way. Because then it's like you're not too close. Because let's say if you're at 4 or 5 seconds, you'll be... Well, you're at a point where you're either too late to slow down enough, you know. So I'm just going to trust the 7 seconds. That's the ETA. Yeah, here we go, see? Woo! And now the loop of shame. That's how they call it, apparently. Here we go. Let's get our weapons out. Oh my god. Okay, I think that the extra lasers are causing the power to go down. I, I don't know what's going on here. I need to get to a station. This this is getting out of hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check with Alex. I'm getting out of here. I don't trust this. I don't want to get destroyed. Okay. I just need to get to a station. I I, I just don't know what's going on. I think the power might be going down too much. Yeah, here we go.
the Baduta Station. Okay, here I am. That's where we're Chris docking. Oh god, I'm a bit close to it. Yeah, there was some weird stuff happening. I don't know what... I don't know what to say. That, that was, <laughs> I, I, you know, what? I think it's. Hang on. I, I need to. Oh no, I don't have any. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to a different station. I'll just do that to the next episode. I mean, I'll just. I'll, I'll already be there by the time I start recording. Anyways, uh, I, I'm gonna see why. Am I running out of power so much? And I can't even check how much I have. You know? It doesn't tell me the duration of the power, you know? Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of Lead Dangerous. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to leave a like. And if you want to tune into the series, then make sure to subscribe. But uh, yeah, anyways, I shall see you next time in another video. So until then, have a good day.